Hey gang, Rodan here. Welcome on back to the Retrocade in our continuing playthrough of the original Diablo from 1998 for the PS1. So we are now on our seventh episode of this playthrough, and if you join us in the last episode, well, I do apologize up front as we had a major technical snafu uh, with my microphone going off halfway through it, and to some of you that may have been a good thing. But be that as it may, we are carrying on now in this uh, storyline where we are now having to go back into the dungeon and try and uncover one of the side quests, which is the Chamber of Bone. Beyond the Hall of Heroes lies the Chamber of Bone. Eternal death awaits any who would seek to steal the treasures secured within this room. So speaks the Lord of Terror, and so it is written. So that is the only current quest we have outside of trying to get through the dungeons and get down to the bottom where we will of course encounter the titular Diablo. And right now as far as our inventory goes, we are well stacked for potions, we are doing well with our weaponry, we have our claymore of the bear, we have our indestructible leather armor, uh, we have our magic skull cap which gives us plus 54% to armor. We have our trusty pearl large shield. We have the Emprian Band, which is a truly unique ring that we, which we will likely have for the rest of the game. And we have the Ring of Truth, which is another unique item, which gives us plus 10 hit points and minus one damage from all enemies and gives us 10% resist. So with all that done, we shall make our way back into the dungeon and remember we have found a secondary way into the catacombs once we've hit level 5 so we come in through this mausoleum entrance and we'll carry on from there do hope you guys enjoyed Sports Saturday and Sucker Punch Sunday this past weekend where those were a lot of fun we played another F1 game from the Super Nintendo days and then went back and played one of my favorite anime-based games, which was Fist of the North Star for the NES from the late 80s. So we've already gone through and done everything in here, if you recall. So now we just got to go down to level 6. And we've got to find the entrance to the Chamber of Bone. Now the Chamber of Bone is going to be a problem only because we're going to be dealing with a lot of skeletons in there, obviously, otherwise you wouldn't call it a chamber of bone. And then the big thing in there is King Lothric, and I do mean big, because uh, he is, for all intents and purposes, a giant. Uh, and he is very strong, and he is rather powerful. So hopefully we have enough in terms of potions and health at this level As we get rid of the acid spitting beasts, which were the bane of our existence in the previous episode. So take them out, pick up the coinage, and see what is over this way. Now there's skeletons coming in over here, which gives me reason to think that this will lead us to where the Chamber of Bone is. Otherwise, why bother there skeletons here? Ooh, an enchanted saber. I won't argue with that. Starting to pick up considerably more gold, which isn't a bad thing. I do have to admit, it is weird going back now, having taken a couple of days off from playing this. 
primarily to get Sports Saturday and Sucker Punch Sunday done, but also because I have been in the process of playing and finishing uh, Final Fantasy 16 for my PS5. Ooh, I'll pick up a staff of telekinesis because I might be able to sell that for a little something. I'm not going to worry about baggage. the short bow. I gotta see what we're at here for room. So, okay. Whoop. So we have Saber of the Mind, plus six to magic, which may be helpful at some point. But not right now, and I don't have anything else that I can really utilize. Pick up another scroll of town portal, that'll work. But if I have to give you my really quick synopsis on Final Fantasy 16, uh, I will tell you that I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, I have not played a Final Fantasy game of any sort, really. So here's the stairway up to the Chamber of Bone. Uh, since completing Final Fantasy X, geez, almost 15 years ago now. And part of it was I just, I'd fallen out of love with Final Fantasy games. Not that I don't think the, the games that came out were necessarily bad. But like for my birthday one year, a friend of mine had gotten me... Final Fantasy 12, and they got it for me in this nice, like, steel slip book case. And I've tried to like it, and I tried to give it an honest playthrough, and I just, the gambit system and everything that was in it, I didn't like it. Uh, and you can say what you want about how much different the combat system is in that game, in Final Fantasy 16, as opposed to previous iterations. I know the other version that everybody's playing right now is they're going back and playing the revamped version of Final Fantasy 7. Which I admit I have not played, only because I am so fond of the original that I can't justify necessarily trying the remake out and thinking it's going to be better when it's all spread out. Now, granted, that is my personal opinion on it. Yours may vary. If so, if you're playing it and you're Too liking it, baggage. let me know. You know, I as much as I like to recommend games to people, and that's part of what I, I do on this channel, whether I think the game is good or not, and I'll give you my honest opinion on it either way, uh, you know, by all means, if you are, if you've been playing Final Fantasy and you like, uh, you know, the older games, let me know. Let me know what you like about it. You know, give me a reason why they're good. So let's see. I will bump up. I don't need to bump up magic anymore, but I can go with strength. Whoops. I can go with dex, and I'll go up one with vitality. Got a whole lot more skeletons in here. Capitated bodies. That's helpful. Ooh, we have a scroll of firewall. Okay, well, I'm not going to use it, but again, I can sell that to Adria the Witch and probably make a fairly good buck on it. Scene go. Come here, you little weasel. Alright, anywhere else I need to go before we go to the chamber? There is some stuff on the other side. Also, if you're playing Diablo 4 currently and you're following this playthrough, I'd like to get your input as well on what you think about it. Uh, I've obviously heard and read numerous reviews about it so far. Uh, you know, 
I am actually in the minority of people who like I liked Diablo 3 uh, I know a lot of people didn't like it because of all the loot crating and stuff that they put into it uh, fortunately I was smart enough to put off getting into that for that very reason I didn't buy it until much later uh, but in playing it I really didn't have a problem with it but then again I don't tend to expect too much from these games I expect them to be what they are which you know Diablo say what you will about this version of it and it does have its faults but it set the tone for this sort of franchise perfectly because it gave us exactly what it was advertising so all right so i will head back to town really quick and get rid of some of this stuff because i want to make sure i have as open an inventory as i can for what we're going to find in the chamber of bone Should also do a quick repair and see what Griswold has for new items because it's been a while since we played. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. And there's nothing for him to identify with us, so. Well, what can I do for you? Saber Mine gets me 427 gold. I'll get rid of that. So we're over 13,000. He has the Crimson Helm, which is Resist Fire. His Armor 5 requires 25 strength, so we can definitely afford that. We have the Warhammer of the Bat, Skull Cap of Accuracy, Ring of Brilliance, Crown of the Eagle. Hit points plus 23. The armor is 9, so it's a higher armor than the helm. It has more durability than the helm. Do we want more hit points or do we want to be able to get more resistance? Well, before we do that really quick, let's take a look, see at what we have. So, the Grand Skull Cap, while it gives us more armor, its armor rating itself is two. So either of those items is gonna help us out a lot, protecting our melon from getting any more damage. He doesn't have anything for shields and that shield is armor eight, so we should be good there. While the Leather of Aught is not the strongest armor class. It is a 15. So for this point in the game, it should do the job. Well, what can I do for you? So I think what we're going to do is because this gives us better hit points and more uh, armor. I think we are going to go ahead and do the Crown of the Eagle, but we don't. Have, ooh, we don't have room in the inventory. Okay. So, best get rid of the bow, or the staff, rather, of telekinesis to Adria. Then we'll come back and get the crown. It won't go anywhere in the time it takes us to get there and back. I sense a soul in search of answers. And we have 365 gold. For the staff of telekinesis and can we buy any scrolls of identify she's got one all right i'm going to go ahead and buy that just because oh and that's the other thing i gotta sell is i have to sell scrolls and stuff i don't need so i'll sell the scroll of firewall scroll of mana shield uh anything else that i can Pawn off? No. Okay. Now we'll leave. And let's see what we've got for inventory space. So we got a little bit more. So I'd like to think we are good on the potion front. We shall have to see when we get into the chamber. I'm also hoping that by upping our armor. Oh, wow. what can I do for you? I 
Okay. Well, what and can we'll I do for you? Sell off the Grand Skull Cap for a whopping 104 armor. Repair the Claymore really fast. And I'm wondering if I should swap out the Claymore for a mace. What ails you, my friend? Do we have a mace? We should have a mace over here, because remember, I stored all of my potential backup items over here. I have the Wicked Axe. And the Wicked Axe is two-handed, so no, we do not have a mace that we can use. Okay, well, we will have to take our chances with what we got in the Chamber of Bone. But... We've got a bit more room to pick up items, so with about 15 minutes to go in this episode, we should hopefully be able to knock this out with a little bit of time to spare. And up to the Chamber of Bone we go. Now, I want to remember and think that if we can get through this, we will get at least one unique item. What that is, I do not know. But having the Claymore will be nice, because even though we can't smash through the skeletons... We can at least knock them back if they come in mass. Like so. And even just getting a little bit of room... ...has its benefits. Hello, big fella. Well, two swings, we chopped him down. And down he goes. So we have fire over here. Ow. Oh, that's right, we have to pull the skull levers to open up the portal that leads us to King Lothar. Or at least not to open up the portal, per se. There are portals in this game, obviously. But this will lower the walls and everything that we need to get to the chamber where Lothric is. And I apologize if you hear like a slightly intermittent buzz in the background. That is one of my my fan is blowing to try and keep me relatively cool. Because I don't know about you, but in my part of the world, it is hot. So we have Enchanted Rags, a Hunter's Bow, Staff of Stone Curse, and a Book of Firebolt. I got a pump. So this is stuff I can get over to Adria if I want. I'll at least put that together now so I have a portal to go into. And then drop that door. Or that lever. Take 
these skeletons out. Pick up the cash. Open this chest and see what we get. So we have a broad axe, a battle axe, and a small shield. Okay, so. What I'm wanting to do is I want to head back to town already and pawn off some of this stuff. Again, this is the only thing I do not like about this game is that the inventory system is so small. Uh, and it's one of those things that I find really bothers me about a lot of role-playing games is that they make the inventory so limiting uh, that you are always having to go back somewhere and get rid of the stuff you don't want or don't need. Because you know if it doesn't have a practical value for you, it may have a monetary value. I sent a soul in search of answers. Like this staff is worth about 500 gold. That's nothing to sneeze at. And then selling the book should get me, yeah, 250 gold. One of the things I've done in my playing of Skyrim, and I make absolutely no apologies for it, is I added a mod that allows me to carry virtually everything that I pick up. So I don't never log down by having too much weight because it's proportional to what my level and strength are. So like at the moment, I think my character could probably pick up something in the vicinity of like 20,000 pounds of what of stuff that you can get, whatever that translates to in Skyrim math. I got a pawn. Oh, that scroll of identify did not go through for me. Ah, that's annoying. Okay. So I'll call it good with those for right now. And then I expect as soon as I open this door, there's going to be a whole lot of skeletons. Hello! At least they're not archers. That room that we went into, I think it was in the fourth level, where it was just packed full of archers. was beyond nuts. Unfortunately, because they've all got to come through that door, they can't overwhelm me at once. Because they're going to just come out two at a time. Because of that, I can just whittle these guys down to nothing. Spares me having to use potions and getting just pummeled. There's still more in there, but... I can still now move up to the door and just pick them off one at a time. I'm still picking up coin. And I'm still mowing down skeletons. There's still more coming, but I've definitely dwindled the numbers down. Ah. 
Okay, put him away. And down he goes. So we have a short bow, a broadsword, and more gold. I don't need either of those items. I need to get these horned demons out of here. Come on, big boy. Take him down. He goes. This big boy will drop here in a minute. Okay, now I know I need to open that book. There's nothing else over here that I need to get. So, ancient knowledge gain. Okay. Looks like that was everything I needed to get in here. So the question is, where am I at for inventory? Okay, I can move this over. Pick the small shield up. Baggage. Oh, I thought I'd be able to. Unless it needs both of them. back to town. We'll have Kane identify the items and see if they're worth keeping or if they're worth getting rid of. And we should now, whoops. So we have completed the Chamber of Bone. And we didn't run into King Lothric there, which is what I thought we were going to do. And then once we get the inventory sorted out, we can call this episode good and move on to the next one. Stay a while and listen. So gold battle axe of maiming. Chance to hit 22%. That's 5% to damage, but you need 65 strength. Whereas the broad axe of accuracy, plus 14 to dex, required strength 50. And then the small shield of craftsmanship, high durability, armor 5. Okay, so really... None of these items are gonna wow. do a ton for, for me. You? Because I need a lot more strength to be able to sell this off. Or to be able to use it. And in the meantime, I should be able to get better equipment. The small shield won't help me. And the broad axe, while it could be nice, I need more strength to be able to wield it. And having 14 to dexterity, by comparison to what I get with the claymore, no. So let's see what he has in replacement of... So he has the leather armor of the wolf, which is armor 10, plus 32 hit points. But by comparison to my unique item armor, which is 15, I'm just fine. Now, getting the ring of the stability with faster hit recovery would be nice. But I seem to be doing okay as far as getting everything else done. So, 
I think for the moment I better repair really wow. quick. What can I do for you? And do that. So for the time being, I think we can call it good. And then we can get ready to head down into level seven now that we've completed the Chamber of Bone, which is what we will do in the next episode. So, uh, as always, if you enjoy the content, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, ring the bell to be notified of the latest content. We will have Sports Saturday and Sucker Punch Sunday coming up again this next weekend, where we play a classic sports and fighting or fighting platform-based game from the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth generation. We are now on Threads, as well as Instagram at Ronin's Retrocade, so be sure to follow us there and spread the word. Faster we can hit our goal of 100 subscribers, soon we can unlock YouTube's customization algorithm, and we can make the channel bigger and better. And as always, if there's a game you would like to see us feature from the Nintendo Entertainment System, the Super Nintendo, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, or Mega Drive, SNK, Neo Geo, Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, or PlayStation 2, leave it in the comments below, drop me a line on threads or Instagram, could be any game from the consoles that you want. And as always, my name is Ronan, it's been great to spend this time again with you, be safe, be well, stay cool out there, happy gaming, and we'll see you again in the next episode. Bye!